Hello. Welcome to my hotel room. Welcome to my zit. I am courageously and bravely making this video sans far. Sans fards. In an attempt to revolutionize the beauty industry. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Looking scaly. Oh, feeling horny. No. Let me show you my gifts. Let me show you my bald head first. Oh, I'm so glad you're still there. Mama, you know, you... <laughs> did you know that I'm kooky? <laughs> did, you, did you know that I'm kooky sometimes? That I love to get kooky and ooky and spooky? I'm so glad you know. Because if you didn't know, then now you do. Who are you and who is me? Let me tell you. I want you to know a few things about Jesus H. Christ. First of all, his middle name stands for Henry. Okay? His middle name stands for Henry, and why is that relevant and pertinent to our interests? Well, uh, for starters, regarding Henry. Right? <laughs> what? Oh, Harrison Ford. Regarding Henry. What was that movie about? Anybody know? Jesus was daddy as fuck. abso fucking lootly bitch. He was the only daddy and the only son of God. Um, G Jesus Henry. Jesus Henry can fuck this puss. Is it uncouth to tell a man who is hanging on the cross via uh, nails, some nail action, who got nailed to a cross, is it uncouth, is it impolite, is it disrespectful and unkind to tell a man who is clearly dying on a cross, mama, he is, I mean, he's living for us, but he's dying for us too. Is it, is it uncouth and, ter and terrible of me to say, mama, I would fuck you. Jesus Christ, I would, I would bring you down from the cross. I would find a medical professional in, in, the, in the vicinity to, to take care of, your, of those wounds so that they do not get infected, because that's the truth. And we would bandage your feet, and we would bandage your um, your hands, and then we would also take care of that. I know you've got a scar somewhere on your ribs or on your side. I think they, I think they, I think they stabbed you with a stick. That's that's what I think. So we'd take care of that too, and then we'd um, we'd take off that loincloth. We'd find you something better to wear. Let you rest, and the next day, I would talk to you. I will bring you soup, and I will also fuck the shit out of you, if you wanted that. If you wanted that, you know, we'll wash you. I'll wash you, I'll do a, a little, this is a little bit morbid, but I would help you do the douche. And I would fuck your ass, that's true. Okay, um, you know what? Actually, I do think Jesus was a daddy. I'm not sure of the origin of the word zaddy, and I know it, seem, it sounds weird to say it out loud because it's just an online thing. Um, but, Greg's Bakery had to had to issue an apology because they had an ad that replaced Jesus with a dinner roll. <laughs> what was that? I dare you to eat my ass. I dare you to wash your ass. How about that? Um, and then I'll eat it. Just kidding. Um, okay, here we go. What does daddy mean? I don't really know what that means. Is that a young daddy? Because why isn't it just a yaddy? Who the fuck cares? Why isn't it yeti? Do you love to eat thistles? I hope you do. If you've eaten an artichoke, you've eaten a thistle. I have to rehearse. Fuck me up, bitch. Jesus was doing drag. He's wearing... Oh, of course. He was the original dragoon. That is absolutely not true. Um, Pterodactyl was the original dragoon because that P was suck fucking silent. You had to read to get the P. And get the T. I dare you to say the most random thing you can think of. Um, my ass is a two-way street. I don't know where that comes from. Mm. Oh, Zane and Daddy, thank you. Thank you. That makes perfect sense to me. That is, um, oh, boy, Cameron Dallas. Oh, gross. No, I don't like that. Zane, yeah, I'll go with Zane Malik. Yeah. Uh, 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Daddy is fuck. I, you know, this online jargon is getting a little out of control because it also changes every three months, kind of. I guess that's just the way. That's not the way language works. Language didn't go, move that fast when we weren't online. But now we're online, darling, and it's all memes these days. Um, my ass is, okay. I dare you to spill the tea, bitch. I always spill the tea. I dare you to listen to the tea. Um, Dallas, where do we start? I have to, I have to, um, tighten up my performance tonight, Bob, or they'll, the critics will pan me. Uh, oh God. Oh, so, okay. So, um, how do I do this? Tell me how to do this. I don't like, I'm sick of Kickstarter. I'm sick of it. I'm over it. Not, not because of them. They didn't do anything wrong. Nothing. They didn't do anything wrong. I'm just, I'm, I, um, I don't, um, I should just deal with it. I have to do that. Okay. I want to figure out a way to stop. With the Help Me, I'm Dying show, I need to figure out a way to not uh, have to message people through Kickstarter. I know some people have not received their gifts. I know Lauren, who I know, so I can just call her. But um, I encourage you to reach out to me via email that is provided on my website or provided um, anywhere. If you did not receive a Kickstarter reward, uh, if, you, if something was wrong, or if something was uh, amiss, or you're unsatisfied in some way with something. The eccentric billionaire benefactors, I'm relying on your eccentricity and the fact that you're a billionaire and very busy to just stay cool and hang tight. Because I will be, um, that phone call will happen, it, the Skype call, absolutely it will. Absolutely it will. Um, the timeline on all those gifts was way overdue. Guess what? I'm a drag queen, does you know. Um, but, if anybody has a serious quibble to quabble over, I'm happy to diddle and doddle over that. Um, great. Do a private gig for me personally in the UK free of charge, but you can't do it, Mom. You are absolutely right. I cannot do that. Oh, shit. Okay, this is the whole point. Um, G-A-Y, I had to recancel. I, I had to reschedule. I had to cancel slash reschedule because, um, and that was coming up very soon. That was uh, November 28th or... <clears throat> something like that, right? Like right on November 28th or December 1st, because I went on an audition and I got the part. And uh, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Mostly to Jeremy Joseph, mostly to Jeremy Joseph, who I am like, oh, he is a good guy. I love his fucking dog, Jacob. Um, we always have the onlyest Kiki, the only Kiki. We kiki and kiki and kiki. That's six keys. Just one more to get inside my pussy, Bob. Do you know where you left it? Huh? Oh, God. I think actually I'm going crazy a little bit. Okay. Oh, not on drugs. Um, I'm not on drugs, and... Um, I have so Jeremy Joseph. I gotta tell you, he is so, he is so. He's a good guy, you know. I don't, you know, he's a good guy. So I'm, I'm so sorry. I was gonna be at the Porn Idol finals with um, Gemma. Well, I'm not really sure. So, but she's gonna. Be, I'm, sure, I'm assuming she's gonna still be there. I haven't talked to him since I, I, I emailed him on Twitter. But um, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm mostly sorry to him. I get it. I'll, I'll, I'll give him another message later. But. Um, I'm sorry if anybody had tickets. I don't know how that works. But, um, so I'm not going to be there um, because I have to stay in L.A. to do, um, it's for like, a, it's like a good thing. It's like a good thing. It's a good thing. It's really wonderful. So, um, it could be great. And I'm perfect for it. So it's like, it's kind of one of those things that, it's one of those things that I'm like, oh, it's not a huge effort. It's not like drag race, you know, where it's like everything gets, re it's just like a cool, awesome thing to do that I, there's no question in my mind I have to do it. So that's the thing. I, I'll do it if I, if I'm not going to be dead, if I don't die today or tomorrow, I'm going to be doing this thing. That's all I have to say. Okay. Read your you. I'll sing Roxy's part. <sighs> my name is Roxy Andrews. And listen, guys, I'm here to one, make one thing perfectly clear. I know that you love me. That's not a joke to me. But I came here on this Periscope to make it unambiguously clear um, it's so hard to say it's actually kind of hard to say because 
I found 14 spiders in my pussy last night, and I don't know where they came from or where they're even going. They're not in the bed. Uh, oh, I'm reading poetry. <laughs> I'm reading poetry. Uh, uh, Elaine Stritch. Who cares? <laughs> um, uh, I'm reading poetry. I wrote poetry. Poetry that rhymes. Um, at a... At your mom's huge asshole convention, the YMHA convention, which is happening um, at the World of Wonder, Studio Spice, got a guy scene, fruit, floral, nut, in my butt, what? Pablo Neruda, bitch, Pablo Neruda. I'm actually doing okay. I've got a zit, you see that? Oh, mama, get into her. Get into my zit flow. I know you have a workflow, okay? I know you have a work grind. But do you have a zit flow in the center of your mind? Look at that fucking zit, bitch. Get. So here's the, here's the trick that I've learned from reality TV superstardom. A, you got no shame. There's no shame in my game. I do what I do, and that's, that's it. Um, you can apologize sincerely no matter what. If you say something wrong, you can apologize. It's better to do it in person, but if you're a public figure and you do it online because you offended some kind of group of people, um, that's fine. There's You have so many opportunities to say I'm sorry. And fewer opportunities to make it right. That's the truth. Because it's not. sometimes it's not about saying I'm sorry, it's making it right. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but, um, oh, I said something that I'm, I'm not proud of. I think I tweeted something about um, it is my gender. That was stupid. That was all. I mean, I have moments where I don't edit myself. And that was a personal joke that was I, it came in my head from a friend and I, I tweeted about it for some reason. That was dumb. So I do not, I'm not trying to offend anybody who is currently fucking trying to decide their gender. Because guess what, bitch? I am too! And that, you know, we all are. Girl, it is a fucking new world out there. It is a new world out there for men and women today. And it is exciting. And people are going to say a lot of wrong shit. And guess what? I'm a stupid white man. I mean, I have to grapple with that fact. I am, I am a stupid white man. You know, I might be gay and weird and queer or whatever, but I'm a stupid white man at the end of the day, and I am not trying to have anybody cut me slack. That's the truth. Um, the zit is the top two of the week. In fact, I think it's a shoot, because it also looks like a bullseye that's a little bit cockeyed. What if nose hairs are just tiny hands giving friendly tickles? Fuck you! That is funny! <laughs> Oh my god, wait, nose hairs are just tiny hands giving, um, what is it, T gentle tickles? And then, um, a, a woman never farts, she whispers through her panty. <laughs> Somebody said that. I forget who it was, a drag queen. Post your for the dick challenge. It's not too late. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I want to do that. How do I figure out how to do that? It's on my notes. Uh, maybe it's on my computer. I have until 1.30. I have to absolutely get off. I'm such a, I'm such a fucking slacker. And I'm super narcissist, which is why I'm doing a live video. Uh, if you're late to the party, good morning, I'm a narcissist. I'm sorry. You don't have to listen and you don't have to comment. It doesn't matter, but I'm still going to do it. Um, okay. Fuck. How the fuck do I do this? Oh, notes, here we go. I don't know how to work the beat at all, because I'm terrible at rap. Stupid white man strikes again. For the dick challenge. Where is it? For the dick. I'm searching for the dick, literally, on my computer right now. Searching for the dick on my computer. Fuck. For the dick. Well, this is, um, you know, this serves me right because it's, I don't, <clears throat> these videos are not about, okay, anyways, I'll get that later. Um, my skin looks good. The thing is, I only care about what, what I look like when people are looking at me, which is kind of natural, I feel like. But I've got a zit there. And what else is wrong with my face? I heard a zit there. And uh, obviously the no eyebrows. We got a receding hairline. So this is, oh, you see that? That's the, okay. That's the, um, the line from my hat. And there's all this, oh yeah, she's really creeping back. It's like a Bermuda Triangle of here, up here because when you tip it back even a little more, there's like one, there's a huge triangle. So this triangle of pain, shame, degradation, humiliation, isolation, and loneliness is something that I just have to deal with, right? I dated Triburgate, I don't think, a trend alert, oh, trend, 
Trend alert. Hairlines in recession. Yeah. Uh, it's the mama. Oh, ben McCoy used to say, girl, for it's a when you're a drag queen, it's always a recession. And when you're a, when you're a man, that's true up here too. Uh, the hairline recedes. The moment uh, the hairline recedes, the dead hooker bleeds. That was dark. Ugh. Um, okay. Ooh. Hurricane Bianca. If you're coming to see Spice Racks today, oh, no, no, no. Um, if you're coming to see Spice Racks, um, I'm starting to act like Trixie a little bit more. She does this thing where she's like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like you would walk in to find a trashed hotel room with like three corpses and like a crack pipe still smoking and she'd just walk into the middle of it and be like oh wow <laughs> oh so the whole point of that triangle thing was like I actually because um because I'm a pubic fan <laughs> Ugh. Um, because um, I'm on camera a lot and I want to be like, I want to do that because I'm a, a narcissist. I was like, oh, I should really do go the try to do what Jew Law did and like um, do the hairline surgery, but I don't think I care enough to do that. But stay tuned. Who knows? Maybe it's very expensive, but it works sometimes. Um, that's pretty much that's pretty much all there is to do about it. I mean, it's not a moral issue anymore. I don't feel ashamed or or whatever about it because who cares? But um, what should I put for my yearbook quote? Oh, please put be your own dentist. Because I'm my own dentist. Somebody just said my teeth are white. My hair is growing back, way back. My uncle. Hello? Seriously, yeah. I mean, I'm not... No, I am a narcissist. Um, live surgery. Castle. Any tips for learning the splits? I guess, I guess. I'll, I'll show you right now. I'll show you fucking right... Actually, right now I'm going to show you. Because I need to do my side splits. Okay. All right, guys. Ugh. Is anybody listening? By the way, if you are a peer of mine and you're watching this, I'm embarrassed for you. Please go away. <laughs> if you are a drag race girl, other than Jasmine Masters, <laughs> um, or you are, or you are um, a colleague of mine, or you're my close personal friend, please go the fuck away and call me on the telephone. I feel so strange when my friends watch these videos. I really do. Um, these are for the kids. These are for the kids. Um, okay. So, splits. We got five minute splits. Uh, five minute splits, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna start with a straddle. Oh, you, oh, sorry. Five minute splits. Open your fucking legs, okay? This is a straddle. Now a lot of times we're gonna be like this. If you're like this, if you can't, if, if this is you, mama, splits are not in your future, so move on. Well, they are in your future, but just like years ahead. So if we can get them flat and we can come up kind of straight, we're sitting on the sitting bones, which are the two, ooh, it's gonna crack. The bony tuberosities, your sits bones, are um, what are, it, it's your, you got the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. I believe it's either the, I think it's the ischium. I'll, that We can talk about that later. Sitting in a straddle, okay, we're just gonna kind of lean. We're just gonna kind of move, like get movement into it. We're war warming up is important <laughs> uh, I mean you know um, but you know if we're starting out we don't wanna, we don't want to be static to start we don't want to be static to start so we want to be like movement leg kicks are even better so five minute splits that's already been one minute um, if you're gonna go if you're really look uh, trying to do straddle splits we're gonna come down we're gonna come down and again move get the knees involved don't lock the knees we can just move around and like Undulate the torso, bend side to side, and then we're just gonna try to find our fucking seat and find our fucking straddle, okay? Now, front splits, two major motions. Front splits, we've got the hamstrings on the front leg. We got the, the psoas and the um, hip flexor on the back leg. This is the one that always gets people. Everybody thinks it's about cranking this one. No, mama, the finding comfort in your split is all about the lunge, okay? So we're doing left, uh, left split, uh, front split, left side. So we go lunge, 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 lunge. And again, try to just move it around. Let's just get it lubricated, get all that synovial fluid in there, bitch. And then we're gonna put more focus. See, we got a nice good lunge. Maybe you can see my dick, maybe you can't. Hooker! Back leg. This is where we wanna 
Ooh, that's tough. Oh, man. Ooh, cranking it. Yeah, that's tough. And we feel it where? Quad, hip flexor, psoas, okay? Oh. Then we're going to bring it back. Bring it back. Sing it back. So just a... Just to fold over the front leg. Oh, we come right back to the him. We come right back to the lunge. And we go, uh, thrust it, thrust it, thrust it, thrust it, thrust it. When do I start? Wait, hold on, what'd she say? What'd she say? Oh, 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 you're starting tonight. And you know gay, so show gross. Okay, so we're back in the lunge, back in the lunge. We're bringing it back, swinging it back, folding it down, and then we're back in the lunge. And then, eventually, what happens? You combine these two, and here's your fucking split. But guess what? This is where a lot of us are gonna live who enjoy flex flexibility. This is where a lot of us are gonna live. So we're gonna try to, like just, you know, right about here. So when you get here, then, you, then you've, like, you've earned the right to get into isometric stretching, which is when you push you activate the muscle groups that are supporting and stretch that are supporting the position the opposite muscle groups so when we're stretch muscle group there's a, an opposing muscle group that like uh that supports those muscles when it's in an extended position right so like the the quad of the left leg in the front split needs to be strong and supportive of that uh hamstring which is on the other side of the leg um, and vice versa, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, splits take a long time. That's why I guess they're impressive. I mean, they're not that impressive. I still get a cheer, thank God. It's the only thing I do. Um, so, so that's fun. And that's it. Yay! Goodbye.